all right guys welcome back to my channel today's gonna be another info video this one is about uh, how to pack so I'm gonna go over just a bunch of stuff on that so what is packing well that is what trans mask individuals do to create a bulge and this is for many reasons this is uh, the top reason is to alleviate gender dysphoria in that area um, it's also a prep for bottom surgery to kind of get used to having something in between your legs um, and there's a bunch of different ways that you can pack. So I'm going to go over uh, the underwear, the cake bandit underwear, the packing underwear. So most underwear will have the pouch like this, just kind of like your standard underwear. Next will be like a jock strap. So this one's going to look like this. So you're going to have like your leg straps. And then again, it's just going to have the, the little pocket there. And this one's a little bit different, same idea. This one's more for an STP, but same idea. It's got, but this one's got like several pockets and it's got the little hole to put the shaft in and then the button stun button. So sometimes like if you want to have the shaft kind of hanging just kind of freely, this is a good option for that. Next is like these harnesses like this. So again, these are STP ones as well. So again, it's more of like to have like that natural kind of hang for the shaft and balls. Same thing with this one. This one actually has no leg straps. It's the same idea. It's just kind of less. So like the shaft can kind of just kind of go back and forth and stuff. And then my favorite is the packing strap for my pack. So this one I like because there's no uh, leg straps. It's just the strap. And then it's just a little pocket like this. And then it kind of hangs and like moves free with you. Alright, so those are all the different kind of ways. Now, for different packers. So I'm going to kind of start with like your basic, basic stuff. So first is like your homemade packers. So that would be like your typical rolled up pair of socks. Um, there is tutorials online to actually make the shaft and then like the testicles, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of look that up on YouTube. All right, so now we're going to get into all the different packers. So if you don't want to see a male prosthesis that resembles male genitalia, please click off now. All right, so basic packers. So these are going to be the ones like Mr. Limpy. So this one right here. So this one I believe is the extra small, and it's the one that kind of pokes out. Um, so I would recommend to get the ones that kind of naturally go down like that. Because if you notice, if your underwear is not tight, it's going to stick right out and kind of look like you have a boner. Uh, so I also cut the balls off of this one because they were huge and make this stick out even more. Uh, so this one is very soft and squishy. Um, I'll be going into more detail on these individual packers like on their own videos. But this is just kind of showing you what is out there for packers. Alright, next is like your mid-level packer. So these are like $35-ish dollars. So that would be like your trans guy supply packer. Um, this one, so I forgot to say, the Mr. Limpy, is, this is not silicone. So just kind of be aware of that, and it's sticky. So this one is silicone and is not sticky. It's not as squishy, but it has a very like velvety feel. And there's like veins on this one. And so this one you don't have to powder, whereas the Mr. Limpy, you, you have to powder this because it's just so sticky. All right, now the expensive packers. So these ones are like 60 to $70. So that's going to be like your real magic, like basic packers. So these are not like they're really expensive ones. These are just the basic ones. And I'll be doing a video comparing these two. So this one is the hard one from Real Magic. So this one I actually ended up getting first uh, because I'm very physical active and they uh, recommended this one if you do like a lot of sports and stuff. Um, so I initially got this one and then I just felt like it was too hard for me. So then I purchased their soft packer, which is a lot more soft and it weighs a lot less. The only thing about this one is you do have to powder it because it is sticky. Uh, but it's very, this is, I would say, these are better quality silicone than the Trans Guy Supply, hence the, the price. So again, I'll be going through those more in detail in a separate video. Alright, and then your very, very expensive packers. Those are like the from the $200 plus. And these are the ones from like Gender Cat and Real Magic. Uh, these ones are customized to you. 
uh, particularly uh, color matching. You can pick the size. You can pick enhanced color, uh, floating testicles, movable skin. You can add hair. I mean, it, it just it goes on and on. Um, and these ones actually adhere to the body with either sheets, like GenderCat has the sheets, and or the gel. So the gel is what like Real Magic has. Um, so I will be doing a review of the Gender Cat and the Real Magic. I've got the Gender Cat right now um, on order, so it's in the process. It takes between four to eight weeks for them. And then Real Magic, I'm going to be ordering that in February on Valentine's Day because they have a 20% off sale. And that usually takes, now those take a long time. Those take like three to six or so months. Um, so once I get all these in, I will be doing a separate video on each to kind of show you what those expensive packers look like.